for one, uh, it's not just that. It's not just the Obama DOJ. Like, you know, those consent decrees had been used going back to the Clinton era, uh, and they were being used not uh, in in really a political sense. They're being used at, if the DOJ itself determined that there was a problematic pattern of practice within police departments. And so, on the one hand, um, it's hard to really know because we're so early uh, in the administration, like what the ripple effect of this is. We don't even have like have one year of, of uh, end over end, you know, stats to say what are police use of force uh, numbers looking like, and you know what are troubled police departments doing in response to this. But the other thing I think that's interesting is that one of the areas of pushback that I think people probably didn't anticipate was from police departments themselves, because you know there are some forward looking. Um, you know, police chiefs who are saying, we have a problem or we're interested in, for one, also the consent decrees sometimes allow them to get resources to make changes in their, uh, their police departments. And so there, there was, uh, in Baltimore you saw that, but in other places too, I think Chicago was one as well, but they really pushed back on uh, this decentralization of um, consent decrees.